Gentlemen, it's a rare honor to have you both here. Uh, thank you, Conan. In the same room. I'll tell you uh, one thing. It's rare to be here. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I left out the word honor, but <laughs> it's just an oversight. Just before we started recording, uh, Marty, you you verbally assaulted me. You said, no, 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 no. I, I said it with love that to me, when I see you, you, you look like someone freeze-dried Prince Harry. That's all I said. <laughs> I, uh, it's, um, you know, my staff looks forward to any time that Marty. Pardon comes. me? I have a staff. <laughs> oh, wow. It Jeez. Gets, it gets. What kind of podcast is this? <laughs> well, it's very lucrative. No it yeah. gets Someone. smaller every yeah. year. Yeah. But, yeah. um, no, we have fans of my show. And yes, there are fans uh -huh. of the work that I've done in the past. So let's not have any mock <laughs> surprise about that. <laughs> but. They um they have put together a uh, mashup of uh, of Marty coming on the show and ripping me apart, uh, and it is wildly popular. Oh really? Oh yes, it is. It is wildly popular, and it delights uh, my writers to the point where <laughs> the last time when we were wrapping up the late night show, a epic twenty eight year run. Thank you. Uh, I'm driving to uh, it's one of the last episodes that Marty's gonna do, uh, and he did an extremely funny bit on it, and I'm driving to the theater, and I look down and I realize I'm doing something I rarely do, which is wear shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately I thought, I'm driving towards the Largo Theater, and I thought, fuck, Marty, who's on today? <laughs> Marty's on today. And I knew that he would destroy me. And sure enough, you come in and hello, hello, everybody. And then you, I see those two uh, eyes <laughs> dart over and they see my freckled legs bare. And it began. And it began. And it was. Well, it was quite a sight. It was absolutely a terrifying sight. And you couldn't, because normally you can't see where the stilts are attached, but you could, you could that day. <laughs> The shorts revealed way too much. Oh, and they were short shorts. Yeah. They were oh. 1970s. Yeah, Joey and... Heatherton. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like you were entertaining the troops. But uh, the writers were so, so happy. And then, of course, you're, <laughs> the line that just, it, you said it on Late Night, and it uh, it's lived forever, which is, well, you'll do it better than I, but it was, Conan, uh, whatever you're doing to your face, I say 20% more and then stop, <laughs> which is mean in nine and different- And yet it's a love letter. <laughs> it's a combo. It's well, a I combo also, of energy. I love it's also done with care. Yes. You're worried about me. Yeah. A little more, about 20% more. <laughs> now but, I feel like I have to put you down and I've got nothing. No, 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 no you no, don't. No, you don't no. because you're Steve. Oh. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Line. <laughs> uh, well- I don't want to embarrass either of you, so I won't mention that uh, you are just two of my uh, absolute comedy heroes. I'm sure you hear that kind of thing all the time, and it bores you. But one of the pleasures of my life, and I'm not kidding, was when you asked me to do a cameo in your show, your live show, uh, Caesar's Palace in uh, right. Las Vegas. And I... I was outside my body getting to be, be on a stage with you guys. It made me so happy, so legitimately, sincerely happy. You killed I remember He did cool? kill. Yeah. I mean, he, you, we learned a lesson because you showed up with writers. One writer. I can't afford two. <laughs> I showed up with my- Well, like, you're a writer. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Well, I suppose I am. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I and uh, Matt, he's Matt O'Brien, no relation, but I only hire O'Briens. Yeah, and- uh, he um, idolizes you both as well, and he was just in heaven. And then there was, a, but I thought, yeah, come along with me and and help me tweak a few things because I really wanted it to be better than what I could. It do was, it, it was inspiring, and we've had people show up with with nothing, no writers, mm -hmm. and they did way better, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard you guys later bumped into Letterman and he was like, Conan brought a writer? No, no, because Dave did it as well one yeah. night yeah, yeah. in Texas. What was the line? You were sitting off stage with Dave and he looked, what was it? You were sitting off stage waiting for him yeah. to come on and he looked kind of morose. Mm -hmm. This sounds like Dave so far. What was <laughs> they edit, by the way. He had, I, oh, okay. no, 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 no. He had, oh, not at all. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm. An editor costs money as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything is in. 
no, but um, it was fantastic. It was, uh, but, I, but I remember you were saying that Dave was sort of, he had been off the air for just a little bit. And then of course he always does the thing where he's horrified that he, if I go on stage, it'll just be awful. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, you're David yeah. Letterman. What do you, you know, but he's done it. And every... of course the place goes nuts. Yes. And, and then, and then afterwards he still has a negative feeling about it. Even well, though he, he killed. He, he, yeah. He, but he had only been off a few, I think this was like in June and he'd left six weeks before. Right. Or something. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But he is, his personality is always, you know, he came by and which meant a lot to me, did a cameo on late night, which was his old studio. And he came by and of course his attitude was, well, they're just going to hate me. I know. Know. I know. Well, there's a, you know, there's a, <laughs> there's an and advantage. How will, they, how will they know who I am? Will That's you, right. will you say my name before I come out? There's so a they... self-defense mechanism yes. in being overly paranoid. And then when you get a little cheer, when you come out and you go, oh, I was wrong. Yes. Yes. I'm familiar with except that. With Marty, think, yeah, except with Marty. Yeah, I think with me. There, it, all, yes, I think, and it would, I think it's kept me out of the big money, yeah. not having that <laughs> attitude of just kind of going, oh, you don't like me? Well, you know, I don't like you either, but good night. Yeah. It is a little... No, he does have that attitude. I'm this insecure, shaking one, and he says, I don't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to love me. <laughs> well, if they don't, guess what? If I had dinner with them, I'd be bored. That's yeah, how I exa- Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, often that was your opening line, though. It was, and I didn't and it, know why I didn't play. And... <laughs> Who are you people? No one's bathed, obviously. Good night. <laughs> you know. Where's my big money? Why didn't I get the big money? <laughs> why don't they like me? They don't never hire me again. I was, um, so I got to see your show, uh, and I was so impressed with how you guys worked it out. And even though you both knew the show so well, you had a rehearsal and you were still uh, working so hard to make sure that it went perfectly at rehearsal. And I thought, this is, there are no accidents. Like people that are good, in my opinion, there, yes, there is talented, but there is talent, but then there's just this dis- just mad desire to get it perfectly right. And it never goes away. Well, I always think that, that. By the way, it, I'm, I'm here too. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So you, did you just sneak into this chair? I did. <laughs> no, but I'm always amazed I, that... I feel like I... Should I start raising my hand? <laughs> okay, well, go ahead. You say something. No, I don't have... It. I had something I growing. say, I, I, I think we prepare. I prepare out of fear. Yep. And also love. Because when we get a new joke, I, I'm energized the whole show. Okay, I cannot it's true. wait to get to this joke. And often they don't work. In fact, here's an example. Because I thought... <laughs> well, I, let me just say, when they don't work, uh-huh. I am like either on stage or in the wings, I go hysterical. Yes. Because he's been so excited all day <laughs> about this. Go ahead. I, I had a joke the other night. And I thought, I, when I introduced Marty, I thought, oh, this, this is really going to work. Right. And then we're going to analyze why it didn't work afterwards. Yes. But I said, and this man, he's he's done live television. He's been in film and he's done Broadway and truly he is a master of the toxic workplace environment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was just sort of like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> I realized later it's had too many words in it. Yeah. You know, no, 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 I don't or think it needed that. to be more of like a casual throwaway in the it's middle of our inside chat. inside toxic. Yeah. You had to have just read the story about uh, that um, talk show. Oh, you mean lady. be alive? No, 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 no. I don't think everyone is following, you know, variety. Everybody and knows about a toxic workplace environment. Obviously We're in not, one right now. because you got nothing on the job. Yeah. Remember that part? I mean, Conan's shorts represent a toxic workplace environment. <laughs> Absolutely, for the crew. Yeah. Oh, we settled out of court. <laughs>